Hi, Wachanista. This is uh, the fifth element. It's in fact our eighth collaboration with Lepe, fantastic partners, specialists in table clocks. We've been making clocks with them for the past four years now, and this is, as I just said, the fifth element. Why the fifth element? Because it's basically four different elements. You have a clock up here, of course mechanical. You have a thermometer, a barometer, and a hygrometer. All those four elements combine into what becomes the fifth element. Now each of these are individually standalone. I can take any of these out, I can set them up on my desk, I can even set them up laterally like this to face towards you. They function obviously on their own. This is the clock, for example, over here. Eight days power reserve, by the way, for the clock. It's of course inspired by the weather stations which we used to have in the past century, before we had weather apps on our phones or the web. So combining the measurements of temperature, of air pressure, of hair humidity, and of course the time, you could try to guess whether it would be a rainy or a sunny day uh, on the next day. The fifth element is supervised, is headed by our friend Ross down here. Ross is an alien, he's the head of the fifth element. As you can see, he's actually circling around the base here, making sure that everything is under control, nice and smooth. And he has his own personal power source in the base here down below. That's also a manually wound movement. When I give it a full wind, he'll run like this for seven or eight hours. I can also flip the switch right here and that'll stop him if he wants to chill a bit more. When I put him back in motion, I just flip the switch again. That's the fifth element by MBNF and Lippe, 1839.